Good evening, people, and welcome back to my channel. It's China Doll here. So for tonight, magical dining review. I'm gonna be eating here at Bites and Bubble. This place is located in um, downtown Orlando area of Mills. I have never been in this plaza area before. Like I pass by here a lot, but I've never actually ate at any of the restaurants or shop or anything basically so i'm really excited to see the food that they're serving tonight um i saw the pictures online it looks really cool uh, they have like a rooftop area i'm very excited to see what they have to offer to eat and i'm pretty hungry so i can't wait so come along with me and journey as we have dinner here at bites and bubbles so this is the outside of the restaurant right now so you, there's outdoor seating indoor seating and i think the rooftop area seating um, I had made reservations online because I wasn't sure if there was going to be any walk-ups or anything and um, if you make a reservation online and you don't show up they do have your credit card on file so just keep that in mind it's about $25 a person if you don't show up for your reservations so when you come to Bikes and Mobile make sure you ask your server for the uh, magical tiny menu because they won't offer it unless you ask for it it's $37 a person and it comes with the appetizer entree and dessert so this is what their menu looks like um, for their appetizer they got a chef's pate shrimp cocktail a warm brie and then for their main course is uh, beef short ribs tart uh, poulet lobster pizza and then for dessert you can choose some key lime cheesecake um, pyramid el Sio Colado and Crema Italiano. They also have like a cocktail menu here if you realize um, on alcoholic drinkers and then uh, this is like one of their main menus. So it's a lot to choose from. They put us outside. It's like nice outdoor seating area. So it has like a little fire and things. And then if you want to sit indoors, this is what it looks like. There's a bar inside and it's a cool little um, spot right here. Have your nice lightly toasted bread, a little balsamic drizzle right there. <laughs> Looks like a little bit of little baby gherkins. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. And then look at right? the prince appetizer got shrimp. Gherkins? The seaweed salad. No, those are gherkins. Those What's are like little pickles. Oh, okay. Little baby. <laughs> you know the little baby sweet pickles? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. It's kind of like what those are. Okay. Fancy though. And then you have a seaweed salad. Cool, thank you. Oh, These are lemons. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Peter. So my friend's appetite looks way better than mine. I'm usually a seafood lover. I didn't expect all this. Honestly, I thought it was gonna be two pieces of shrimp, but he also got other stuff too. But wow, I can't wait. for a about to dig in and see how this is. Okay, guys, so the first thing I'm gonna this is part of the work. And this is the onion. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Like a fancy charcuterie board. A little bit. Well, except bigger. <laughs> So how is it so far? Do you like them? So for my entree, I had got the beef short rib. It comes with mashed potatoes and this butternut squash. It's funny, my friend, he had ordered the same exact dish and it just smells and looks so delicious. I can't wait to try it. Look, you can use it, thumbs up. <laughs> it's, funny. it's funny. It's funny. My server Peter was saying that it smells so good he can smell it through the mask. But I can't wait to try it now. <laughs> oh my gosh, this looks so much better than the appetizer I had. Now I can't wait to dig in and let you guys know how this is. Oh my gosh! As soon as I dug my fork into it, like it just—it's very tender and soft. It just like breaks apart very easily. But whoa! Yeah. You don't even need to use a knife for this. But a nice squash. The first bite is like heaven in my mouth. It's so good. And that butternut squash is delicious. It's very tasty. And then with a little bit of mashed potatoes. That is so good. I am so glad I got this. Day. 
So our desserts had arrived. I had got the Prima Italiana. So it is Chef's Daily Prima Italian Ita with Italian custard cream. And it comes with the whipped cream and the chocolate drizzle. And then my friend over here, he got the key lime cheesecake. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, guys, let's dig into this dessert. Usually, this okay, guys, so there was a little misunderstanding like, when I was ordering my dessert. So I actually ate the wrong thing because I was like, why does it taste like a chocolate cake? I really wanted the one that was like a creme brulee. And I know I was reading it off the, the description of the menu, but it does not match with what I was showing you guys earlier. So I had brought it up to my server's attention and he's like, oh, I'm so sorry. He's gonna exchange it out. So when the correct dessert comes to the table, then I'll show it to you guys. <laughs> So, so yeah. that's our Amarita cherry? Yeah, oh, so wow. the, family that's, the family that's been making them, they're the family, they've been doing it for 154 years this year. So oh, wow. Eventually they'll get it right. <laughs> I but didn't know that. Keep on bringing it. Yeah, I'm a purist. I don't have anything in my bourbon or my champagne, <laughs> but if one of those falls in either, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bon appetit. Okay guys, now this looks yeah. more like a creme brulee. The other thing was more like a chocolate cake and I was confused. I'm like, what? Okay, this is the correct dessert, guys. Okay, now I can finally dig into my correct dessert. It has a lot of berries and it's on the top. You know this is... The only difference is between this and like the other creme brulee that I have is that it doesn't have like that uh, sugary caramel thing you know, like cracks on the top, but it's pretty good though. Hey guys, so this is my server Peter. He's really nice. You get a show with your meal. I mean, what better? And then this, I mean, it's a, a wonderful Saturday night. <laughs> so if you guys ever come to Bite and Bubbles, I recommend having Peter as your server. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, guys, I just finished having dinner here at Bites and Bubbles. I was joined with my friend, Michael. Um, and his... Tie my shoe. <laughs> so um, for the appetizers, his appetizer was a lot better than mine's. Like he had the shrimp cocktail. Mine's was, it was okay. It wasn't the best, but I just wanted to try it because I never had it before. And then we both got the same entree, which was the short rib, which was so delicious. That was like probably the best short rib I ever had and then it comes to the dessert so he had got the shortcake and then i asked for something that's like a creme brulee kind of thing but then it was like a little miscommunication at first you know i got the wrong chocolate cake but then you know i understand mistakes happen because peter was a really good server so I, you know it was fine it wasn't a big deal and then i got um met the owner of this restaurant named nick he actually brought out my correct dessert and it's cool learning something new about this restaurant too i didn't know this place was open like um, the beginning of this year so it's brand new um, and it's in a, in a nice location I just got kind of confused when I got here at first because I thought the parking was like right by the restaurant there was like a parking lot like over to the side and then on the other side it was like apartment complex garage thingy so I was kind of confused because I've never been here before so I'm gonna let you hear Michael's thoughts of his what he thought about your food so what do you think I think the fruit was really really good the uh, short ribs had like a really really good flavor uh, texture my appetizer was the bomb um, it had shrimp and I guess the waitress uh, the waiter said that it was chef's choice that I also got uh, uh, crab claws uh, the dessert was really really good um, didn't really care for the uh, the key lime uh, film on top but all in all the cheesecake was good I was super super impressed with the taste um, of all the items that I had so Definitely two thumbs up. <laughs> I'm anxious to try other things on the menu. Oh, come on. But guys, let me know, have you ever eaten here at Bites and Bubbles or are you guys planning to come here? Let me know in the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoy this dining review with us. If you do, give me a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next adventure. Bye.